Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Idris Tech. Today we've got an interesting project lined up. I recently came across this old Dell LCD with a broken display and some serious color flickering issues. Let's dive right into it and see if we can fix it. As you can see, the display is completely messed up and the colors are flickering like crazy. The first step is to disassemble the monitor and take out its motherboard. I suggest we unlock the front frame to access the back. The delicate front function panel is attached to the strip, requiring utmost care. I am attempting to remove all the machinery from the back cover. And yes, I have it out. We can now easily separate this panel strip and the front panel frame as well. To remove this metal shield, all the screws must be unscrewed. Yes, now the motherboard is right in front of me. This looks like a very simple circuit. Now the key to solving this problem lies in finding a network coupling resistance. We'll be using an SMD tester for this. Here are the RAMs for the graphics synthesizer. These network resistances are for the coupling to the processor. Fine. And these network resistances are for coupling the RAMs to the graphics synthesizer. So we must check these network resistances. All network resistances have a value of 33 ohms. The SMD tester helps us identify faulty components on the motherboard. We're looking for a network coupling resistance that might be causing the display issues. Data passes between RAM and the graphics synthesizer very fast, so if there is even a single resistance devalue, the problem will occur I must check consistently all the resistance values. No bad has been found yet. All of them seem fine. Yes, they all are as I predict. All right, we've got the motherboard out. Now, some coupling resistors are located on the backside of this motherboard too. So, let's check them too. These all are at the value of 33 ohms as well. A bad must be found. Yeah, its resistance value is found to be 164 ohms. 
while its resistance value should be 33 ohms. Oh, I've got another one. A value of 0.587 kilo ohms is a significant change in its value. These two of them, third and the second last. After thorough testing, I've identified problematic 33 ohm network coupling resistances. Now, let's put jumpers on these resistances and see if it resolves the display issue. I will use this tinned copper wire to connect the jumper. I'm carefully bypassing the problematic resistance by creating a jump. This can sometimes be a quick fix for display problems. These two jumpers I have placed above these network resistances. Now that we've resolved the problem, let's reassemble the LCD and give it a final test. Make sure that the motherboard is seated well in its place. If you ever encounter similar issues, don't hesitate to give this method a try. Okay, moment of truth. Let's power it on and see if we've made any progress. And there you have it. The display is now working perfectly, without any flickering issues. It's amazing what a simple fix can do. With everything back in place, our Dell LCD is good to go.